Shalom. 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 I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shad by Hashem, Rakakadash. Dev honors to the apostles, dev honors to the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to Yahweh that are teaching the truth in the city across the four corners of the earth. We're going to get into an uh, edifying lesson for the elect's sake. Uh, Esau is madly going ham out here in, in, in the four corners of the earth. Um, this article is very uh, interesting because this is prophecy spoken about in uh, 2 Ezra 13, uh, Revelations chapter 12, really the whole, you know, end time prophecies. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and read from the top of this article. It states, robots in World War III, one author and army rangers take on battlefield AI. So Esau is going to the to the utmost heavens with, with his uh, strategies and building weapons. Because the most high gave him that blessing started in Genesis. So, God. This is Genesis chapter 27, verse 40. It says, And by thy sword shalt thou live, and shalt serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou when thou shalt have the dominion, that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. God. And he did. After after the rulership of uh, King Solomon, Esau got free. Because King David, our forefather, he conquered the known world back then, including Esau, the so-called white man. But after King Solomon yeah, ruled the break of the nations, <laughs> the Lord had it to where Esau gained momentum and power. Started with Greece, Rome, and now Back in the uh, uh, spiritual room, which is America, Esau has his, his blessing of <coughs> full uh, strength, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Now he's building his robot to fight in his war. Because mm -hmm. he knows his army is full of, full of dead men anyway. He got transgenders and weak men, uh, you know, sicknesses, mental illnesses. Mm -hmm. So he, he's, built, he's making these robots to fight his war. And also we fight against the Lord too. Mm -hmm. Because he knows that uh, the most high is coming back. I got three uh, This is uh, Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So the article that we're about to get into no, Esau knows he has a short period of time to rule, man. That's why he's using these artificial intelligence robots to fight, you know, World War Three. You know, his time is at the end, so he's just basically desperate. You know, these elites—they're just scrambling. Mm -hmm. they're, they're sending uh, all these Christians at us, and you know, it, it's just it's, Esau is being desperate, man. So we know that we're supposed to rejoice in these times because our salvation is near according to uh, Romans 13 and 11. So this is nothing, you know, it's just Esau, when, when, you, when you look at it and then in all the persecution that Esau is gonna try to throw on us, he's desperate, he has a short period of time, you know. I'm gonna start from the top of this article. It says, uh, a former army ranger, Paul Scarry, the author of Armor of None, Autonomous Weapons and the Future of War, has pointed the implications of robots in their role in a third world war. Somebody get uh, Revelation chapter 11 verse 14. Because okay. this is the third war. Mm -hmm. The word war goes into destruction. So Esau knows the he, he knows the, the prophecy, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Not like the apostles and elders, how they broke it down, how the Spirit of the Lord was upon them to get the truth, the mysteries. But they know by, uh, 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 by way of learning the ancient ways. They know they were blessed with the sword. Yeah, and yeah, they know they were blessed with That's why they hear something. <coughs> yeah, they awesome. know who we are. Yeah, yeah it's according to the, uh, the the scribes, certain things that our forefathers left in the land, which they which they raided during uh, the Roman invasion with Titus. Uh, uh, you got that? I got it. This is Revelation 11 and 14. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. The Second World War, we already had that one. Now they're speaking about Third World War. I mean, World War III and this article. So it's, it's happening. We're in the midst of it. 
Because mm -hmm. that word woe means destruction, you know. Okay. And, you know, when you go into World War Three, the World War, when, well, any, any World War, that's destruction, okay. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, in um, World War Two, they had uh, the atomic bomb. All right, but uh, you know, now today, you have the nuclear bomb, which is a whole other level of bombs and weaponry. Mm -hmm. All right, and like going into what the brothers going into, you know, World War Two, they didn't have AI, AI robots and all that stuff. Now, guess what? They got that. So Esau is gonna use every. Every techno technolo technological advantage that he can use. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. Every all his little computers and supercomputers and all that stuff. You know he's gonna use best best believe he's gonna use use that stuff. You know because mm -hmm. he's not just creating it for no reason. Okay. Y'all brothers got it. Right. If I can make a quick point, kind of. And uh, and along with Esau being uh, given a, a blessing of the sword, he also has a certain. Uh, Heightened le level of blessing of deception as well, because yeah. he's already pushing out the vibration that the world is overpopulated. Yeah. So and and as people people actually already beginning to believe that there needs to be a great extermination, mm -hmm. because Esau is by by his his nature being a Time. being a, a red nigga, mm -hmm. like he's hoarding all the resources and dipping them dipping them up just mm -hmm. to, enough to keep people living, so to speak. Yeah, he crowded the cities too. Mm -hmm. He's crowded all the major cities to where people feel like congested, yep. right? Mm -hmm. And they feel, you know, they, it's, everything is congested because all the all the cities, people just living in close proximity. So that's another way, like like the yep. brother said, is how he's been able to uh, deceive people and that it needs to be depopulated because. Everyone is in the city. Mm -hmm. You got traffic, so people are under the impression that, oh damn, there's so many fucking people here. Yeah. But nah, y'all just y'all niggas are all just in one place. Yeah, <laughs> that's the spirit, man. Cause earlier this week I watched um, when we went to the um, Georgia Godstones, and the mm -hmm. same thing we're talking about is the same thing that we mentioned about a year and a half ago. Because you can fit um, the world's population in Texas, Texas comfortably, mm -hmm. but that goes into Esau's deception. Him being the devil, the deceiver, okay, giving the impression that you know he needs to cut off people by eugenics, this so-called new world order. Uh, we know through the scriptures he's not gonna fail, and and on top of that, he's just he's just going in. He's gonna deceive you even more by trying to give you that chip, which is mm -hmm. coming soon. Because mm -hmm. right. even if I can say, even the reason why I said that, even this morning, well, in conversation, you know. I had some, I had people tell me that there's too many people on the earth, but that that instance came back to my mind. But this morning I heard on the radio, Esau running the numbers of how long it took took for the world to get to one billion people. Mm -hmm. Then because of you know population growth exponentially, how long it took to get to two billion people, three billion, four billion, mm -hmm. and of course like I said because of law 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 of large numbers, the numbers are gonna go quicker in a shorter Rapidly, time yeah. in a shorter time frame. <clears throat> Uh, just the way the numbers work, but he's already using that as a as a way to justify his uh, evil and his wickedness. Mm -hmm. That's right, bro. I had a priest of time. Time. This is um, Second Corinthians chapter two, verse eleven. It says, "Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices." Yeah. yeah so yeah, we're not ignorant of of the the games that this devil plays. You know. Mm -hmm. And hey, we're not ignorant of the, uh, you watch this interview, going back to the topic about uh, the robots and artificial intelligence. You watch this devil, uh, Elon Musk. Mm -hmm. uh, if you watch that interview, it basically tells you that, con you know, these devils are confident, yeah. okay, in, in, their, in their technology and all these things. You know, read it one more time. It says, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, that Satan should get an advantage of us but we are not ignorant of his devices. Yeah, which ignorant means to not know. But we know Satan's devices. We know what he has. We know mm -hmm. all these, you know, different um, um, weapons he has. We know all all these uh, robots and artificial technology, artificial force. intelligence, the space force. We're not ignorant. These regular everyday people, they're ignorant because they don't know that that they don't even know that Esau is their enemy. Yeah. You know, but. 
you know, going back to the point is Esau is using his blessing. To, he's taking full advantage of his blessing, which is the sword, which technology, artificial intelligence that goes into his sword as well. Mm -hmm. And he's going to best believe, like I said, he's going to use robots and supercomputers and, and yeah. algorithms and different yeah. different computer uh, uh Computer, uh, what you call technology? Them? Technology, but uh, different like computers. They basically go into different possibilities or whatever, mm -hmm. and you know that's how they come up with solutions. They go through like infinite, you know, different um, Try solutions. Yeah, solutions. You know, whatever. So that's you know that's the whole gist of it is that the Esau is going to use these things and we're not ignorant of it. We yeah. know we know what's going on. We know what's gonna happen. You know? Mm -hmm. Y'all brothers gotta go. Uh -huh. we get that scripture and I'm gonna go back into the alright this is um Daniel chapter twelve verse one. Mm -hmm. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which stand before the children of thy people, and there shall be a trouble a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation even even to that same time and at that time, thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. And this, this is what this article is going into. It's going to be a time of Jacob's trouble. We're already in the time of sorrows, earthquakes, and diverse places. Mm -hmm. But in the time of Jacob's trouble, man, could be any second now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then they said the dollar is going to be converted to another currency. So, you know, mm -hmm. just waiting in the air for that. Hopefully, yeah. it'll be the mark of peace. Which, uh, you know, going to that precept, Michael is the archangel. Right. I was just you know, yeah, he's the archangel, and, and Michael is, if I'm not mistaken, he's in, he's the head of the the army of the angels. Yeah, that's right. You know what I'm saying? So he's gonna lead the angels, you know, under your house shy, of course. Mm -hmm. But they're gonna they they're ultimately gonna fuck Esau up. They're gonna they're gonna, you know, trump Esau. Whatever whatever the hell Esau is planning, it ain't gonna work. Okay, because the most high technology shits. Well, the Most High gave Esau his yeah, technology. Yeah, he blessed you with the sword. He blessed. He he gave you yeah. your your technology, mm -hmm. Esau. You know, so you can't. There's no way that you can win. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. I got another precept on top of that. Come, come. This is a uh, Job 33 and 15 and 16, and a dream and a vision of the night when deep sleep falleth upon mm -hmm. men and slumberings upon the bed. Then he opened up the ears of men and sealed their instructions. So like the brothers were saying, you know, Esau, Edom, you think you're going to accomplish a new world order and get people to take your chip, which, you know, majority of them will. But the most High's already is sealed your instructions. The same thing with these uh, these leaders like Putin, the leader of Turkey, um, you know, uh, Kim Jong-un, Jong uh, uh, what's the guy's name in uh, Iran? The Ayatollah. Yeah, well, basically, to make a long story short, all these leaders are controlled by the Most High because mm -hmm. he used the angels to put the instructions in their head. So this is not a thing of Esau getting control. He's only going to fit the narrative so far to the Most High. Basically, in Job, Job 20 and 23, he's just like, all right, yeah, yeah, I'll stop. Do all right, this is, you, had, you did enough, just like Pharaoh in Egypt. It's gonna be a certain point where you know the buck stops here with Esau. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, just to add on to your point, uh, why he said um, Pharaoh in Egypt, the Most High is hardening, hardening um, Esau's heart right now, man. You know, making him think that you can um, defeat, you know, um, the most, the highest power, man. You know, you really uh, bugged out your mind. Yeah, you know, you know, yeah. yeah. yeah, you gotta break it down for us, though. Yeah. This is a uh, Proverbs twenty-one and one. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, mm -hmm. as the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. Yep, and, and that's what Esau is doing, man. You know, the, the Lord the Lord had, is, is really playing um, tricks on your mind, man. Mm -hmm. You know, making you try to um, dig, like you scientists, trying to um, create all types of, of whatever, man. You know, the Lord is really playing tricks on your mind, 
uh, for you thinking that you can defeat him, man. Yeah, the blacksmith. Oh man, even today, uh, the the newest American plane, the F thirty five, crashed, man. Yeah, we were just talking about <laughs> South Carolina. Yeah, South Carolina, man. So it goes to show you, man. He's like technology, shit, man. Yeah, yep. he ain't controlling nothing. I'm gonna man. jump back into the article. It says, uh, but what Scare is really concerned about is robots and artificial intelligence that can act and make decisions without any human input at all. Mm -hmm. See, you saw Isaiah chapter 14. We want to be like the most high creating these robots, mm -hmm. which is going to be a, a, a damn ricochet back to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you watch movies like, uh, what's that, iRobot? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. You know, it's where you have uh, where you have robots that basically uh, have free will, so to speak, or whatever. Well, that, Feelings. They didn't yeah. start off with free will at first. Right. But then they were like, I it got so advanced. It got so advanced that it was like, we don't need a, a, a leader. And they started basically moving on their own emotion. I think that robot killed the doctor, the head, mm -hmm. one that created him. But even with that, that, that really, it ain't gonna get that far, man. That's yeah, that's, another, that's another way of Esau using deception to make it seem like yeah. it's on artificial intelligence gonna get so, so advanced that it's gonna be able to do it on its own. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, it's a computer. A, you, a computer can only do what you program it to do. I don't give a fuck how mm -hmm. advanced you try to program that bitch, man. Yeah, kind of. All right, and, and the thing about it, it has to have power. Mm -hmm. I, these things, these robots aren't gonna be nuclear powered. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? They're gonna have a certain level of battery power. Yeah. And when all hell breaks loose, they're gonna be fucking dead. DOA. Mm -hmm. And if they are working, the angles that's gonna take control over them, man. <laughs> like, I mean, come on, man. Like Esau, Esau, you ain't got it, bro. Yeah. Like nothing, nothing you gonna create mm -hmm. is gonna defeat the elect, man. Yeah. Yeah, cause you know you ain't gonna create no robots that's gonna survive an EMP. God. Right. Yeah. You know, cause an electromagnetic pulse is gonna cut all yeah, the man. battery life. It's gonna cut that technology bullshit. Yeah. So all this technology and shit that Esau is working on is is it's in like the brother said it's in vain. It's mm -hmm. gonna come to naught. Yeah. You know? Really if I can say real quick, it's just Esau trying to um trying to push his superiority on the people. That's all. Mm -hmm. That East, that these people believe that Esau is so smart and so intelligent and yep. maybe he gets to a point this artificial intelligence just gets so advanced that they, he can't control it. Mm -hmm. Bro, your, your, your shit ain't shit, man. <laughs> yeah, and these people don't actually even realize, you know, we're gonna get to the article back in a second, but these people don't actually realize <laughs> that, that Esau is trying to basically replace all your jobs with these different robots and like the military that's basically what he's trying to do mm -hmm. yeah. with these robots and stuff he's trying to replace all these different um yep. you know military jobs and replace them with uh androids or whatever you know it's, it's like like you said one more thing man but the thing about it esau isn't that smart God. like esau can't replace if you go into a fast food restaurant when that shit is busy Ro he can't create robots that can do the job of people, man. Yeah. The people are a creation of your how about you have a shot. Right. You can't replace people. Yeah. That's, why even, people. that's why even us going to the kingdom, yeah. you're going to have what? Slaves. Yeah. We're not going to have robots we're building the kingdom. It's going to be slaves we're building the kingdom because you can't create a machine that can do what a person, uh, the, the cognizance and the mind of even a, a dumb fuck. Yeah. It's still gonna be advanced, more advanced when you train it properly than a robot. Yeah, because we don't have we don't have free will, so we're robots to the heavenly father, but how he created us is like vast technology. Mm -hmm. It's like yeah. out of this world. It's and that's what Esau's trying to do. Yeah, Isaiah chapter 14. <laughs> you can't put his spirit yeah, in there. Esau is trying to be like the most high. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and continue then. We uh we're gonna finish on this article, these uh this last paragraph and you both what I appreciate that guy. It says it all seemed so far away a decade ago, but AI and what that means for the future of humanity is now looming. It's, it's already here. And Scare's new book about what robots and artificial intelligence and what it will mean for the future of warfare, all outcomes seem horrible. Just like the brother was elaborating on. Mm -hmm. it just, it just it's just a bunch of vanity, man, that Esau's mm -hmm. creating. It's going to backfire on. But it is going to be used in war, just like the brother read in scripture, uh, Daniel chapter 12, it's, it's, it's a time <coughs> that never mankind ever seen. It's, mm -hmm. it's an evil that, that hasn't been on the earth. Scare has 
Scar has expressed his concerns that fighting machines that can act without any human input and behaves in ways that are difficult to understand. Soldiers on the battlefield have to choose between various shades of wrong, says Scar, who is also a defense analyst at the Center for a New American Security. So the soldiers is going to be like, damn, how the hell, you know, they, they like that already. How do I work beside a machine? Or how do I mm -hmm. maintain a machine? But if I can say, really the most effective, like, AI technology is going to really be technology that conforms with the humans. Because they got, like, Buzz going through, they got certain robots that are autonomous and they work by themselves. Then you got, like, drones and stuff like that. But they're, even like the Russians, they have, like, machinery that goes onto your body. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the, the, the game changer. Oh, like Iron Man. Right. Yeah, exactly. It's like Iron Man. Yeah. You can get in the machine and control it. You, got you, can, it. you can lift heavy in your shit. You can run further because it, it works with the it works with hand the most hand. highest creation. Like, yeah. like the mo uh, like the movie Avatar. Yeah. Like yep. the movie, exactly. Tiny exactly like that. Yeah. And body. Exactly yeah. like that. Kind. Yeah. Mo he trying to be like the most high also. Me, so yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and read in uh, six, 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 chapter thirteen. Kind. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is going to be the time of World War Three. This is what I'm speaking about. This is Second Ezra chapter thirteen. Uh, verse 30 and he should come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth I'm going to start with 29 behold the days come when the most high will begin to deliver them that are upon the earth he's going to deliver the elect verse 30 and he should come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth everybody goes oh man what is, what is just like a, a independence day mm -hmm. Verse 31, and one shall undertake to fight against another, one city against another, one place against another, one people against another, one realm against another. So, uh, you know, spiritual realm, physical realm, the arguments are going to come back, the world will come back, then you're going to have World War III, then you're going to have these certain battle regions, of martial law, all that stuff, seditions among men, yeah. not regarding their princes. And that's also talking about race wars as well, you yeah. know, because you're going to have, you know, different, different, uh, People, a lot, you know, you're gonna have uh, uprisings within America too. You're gonna have civil civil uprisings amongst the people, just like you saw it stirring up as well. This whole tension, racial tension, you know, you know. Um, but you keep going, bro. What this? I don't know if I can add too, it, said, it mentions one realm against another. That also goes into Esau with his space program yep, trying to go true. out there and fight Yahweh Shah and the angels, mm -hmm. because I mean. Uh, Ronald Reagan said it back in the 80s during the UN Council. Mm -hmm. Now it's being reiterated through Donald Trump because these elites know that Yahweh Shah is coming back. So that's why they're going to the space bunkers, mm -hmm. like it mentions in Amos 9 and 2. They know that Yahweh Shah is coming back, all right? So they know that they're going to have, they're going to try to use a defense mechanism, but it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. uh, verse 32. And the time should be when these things shall come to pass, and the signs shall happen which I showed thee before, and then shall my son be declared whom thou sawest as, as a man ascended. Verse 33. And when all the people hear his voice, every man shall in their own land leave the battle they have one against another, and an innumerable multitude shall be gathered together as thou sawest them willing to come and to overcome him by fighting. So the robots are going to be like, yeah, we're going we to get this. Yeah, we're going to get this over here. Who is this? This is uh, verse 36. Well, really, it's going to be Esau, mainly, because Esau is going to be behind the robots anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, but, and these other nations, you know, too. Because yeah. he, he's going to be the forefront of uh, uh, them willingly to come and fight the Lord. Exactly. Because yeah. really, you know, it's, it's Esau is the... The main uh, uh, antagonist, yep. mm -hmm. you know, to to the whole thing, you know. So, you know, of course, of course, he has his robot inventions, you know, and, and you know his artificial intelligence. But ultimately, it, it ain't really against the Yahweh Shai and the robots. Yeah, 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 you know, because Esau but, is gonna, you know, Esau is the one that's that's the enemy, you know. Yeah, yeah. But you can keep going. And the robots, they're gonna be. Uh, they're, they're, they're his angels, Esau's angels, the robots, his messenger, which angel goes into the word messenger. Yeah. Well, that's, his, that's the basically the sword, the blessing that the Most High gave him. 
was yeah. his technology. But mm -hmm. um, going going into what that's what that precept is saying though, it says they shall leave from fighting once and one amongst each other. Mm -hmm. So all these people that's gonna that's different races and like like this like the brother I not said you know uh, what was that Ronald Reagan said that. He said, you know, wouldn't we put our differences aside? Well, eventually they're going to put their differences aside to try to fight with you. How shy, yeah. you know, but <laughs> that that's not a battle they want to get into. Man. Yeah, because it, it does. The scripture does, uh, building off that brother point, the Time. scripture does say they're going to stop and, and like turn to, to the Lord and willing to fight. Mm -hmm. I'm going to jump into yes. verse uh, 35. But he should stand upon the top of the Mount Sion, and Sion should come and should be showed to all men, being prepared and built, built it, like as thou sawest the hill graven with our hands. That, that, that chariot. <laughs> Verse 37. Mm -hmm. And this my son shall rebuke the wicked inventions of those nations which for their wicked life are fallen into the tempest, yeah. and shall lay before them their evil thoughts and the torments wherewith they shall begin to be tormented, which are like unto a flame, and he shall destroy them without labor by the law which is like unto fire. That's right. So ultimately, how is going to destroy them? You know, they're gonna, like I said, they're gonna put up that fight. They're gonna, you know, they're gonna put certain things together and you know do all this and do all that. But how is shy? Like the brother said, how is is gonna have that that mothership, and he's gonna have you know. Many, many, many chariots. That's gonna, that's gonna destroy this place, man. Yeah. You know, and that's what we're looking forward to. You know, because Esau, Esau is proud, and he has to be humble. The only, the only uh, uh, power that can humble is humble Esau is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh mm -hmm. You know, even us. I mean, we we talking about Esau's downfall, but ultimately he ain't gonna see it. He just think we some some dudes talking shit, but once Yahweh Shai actually does it and comes back with the chariots, then he's gonna be like, oh damn, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, you can get that, bro. You got it in Revelation chapter uh, twelve. Yeah, I get it. Seven to come. Get me? that real quick in Matthew twenty four. And God, this is Matthew twenty four and seven. It says, "For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences." And earth and earthquakes in diverse places. Yeah, nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. You know, because that's what that's it, that's going into Armageddon. Mm -hmm. The mountain, which means it, which is in the Hebrew, Hamagadwan, which is mountain of troops. Mm -hmm. Right. So it says nation against nations, kingdom against kingdom. Mm -hmm. You know, because these different nations are going to be coming up against each other, and like the brother just read. Eventually, they're gonna to come to a to a to a um, common denominator, mm -hmm. which is to fight against Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. All right, and Yahweh Shai is, is gonna destroy all of them. You know, mm -hmm. which is the point being. Was that it on that? It says, and all these are the beginning of sorrow. And that's the beginning of sorrows. All right. Um, get a second extras. Um, Six and nine, but you can get what you got. You got. Time. <clears throat> this is Revelation twelve and seven. And there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and his dragon is Esau, the so-called white man. Go ahead. And the dragon fought and his angels, and prevailed not. Neither was their place found anymore in heaven. Yeah, the space. The, uh, Space station all the way down to the heaven on earth. Mm -hmm. The heaven is the, their societies is going to be wiped out. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Go ahead. Come. Uh, this is verse nine. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Mm -hmm. Continue on. Yeah. Come. It's Revelation twelve and uh, ten. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our uh, power and the power of his uh, Hamashiach for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. Come. Esau is going to be wiped out. That's going to be the end of Esau. 
And brother's about to hop into that scripture too, Second mm -hmm. Edges chapter six. Okay. This is Second Edges chapter six, verse nine. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Yeah, that's right. And you know, that's that's the transition that we're that we're going through right now. All right. Mm -hmm. Is Esau and his like the brother, you know, through the spirit, he brought up the uh, the artificial intelligence or robots and things of that nature, you know. But that that's all gonna be put to an end. It says Esau is the end of the world, mm -hmm. so it ain't gonna be no more uh, this bullshit technology. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be done away with, you know. Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the <clears throat> beginning of the of it that follow it. Mm -hmm. So Yahweh Shai is gonna put it put it an end. So uh, this whole system and all that, all that, all that shit that Esau have been talking and all that, all this and all that, it's gonna be put to an end, man. Yeah, you know, gonna, it's gonna go back to the time of uh, Eden. Yeah. I mean, this technology that he got, he's not advanced just because he has it. It's been here since the beginning of time. It's mm -hmm. just been manifested throughout the years, so it's been fulfilled prophecy. But the Lord said we're gonna go back to the uh, uh, paradise in Eden, the times, mm -hmm. and it's gonna be better. Than what, than what we experienced in the first Eden. Mm -hmm. That's right. And if I could just say too, because it's wicked. You know, Esau, yeah. Esau is wicked, man. You know, all, all, this, all of this technology that's being built, uh, <clears throat> everything that we have here today uh, in the world, man, is it, 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 it's built through wickedness, man. Left hand energy. Yeah, left hand energy, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why the scriptures say, um, you know, through riches got, the, got by the seat. That's right. You know the king. The kingdom mm -hmm. is, is translated from one to another. Mm -hmm. You know that's 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 when Jacob, you know Israel, you know is going to come into rulership, man. Mm -hmm. You know Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, man. You know in 144 being joint heir. You know they're going to rule in righteousness, man. You know so everything won't be um, like we were going into early in, in vain. You know that's right, bro. Yes, was that it? Was that anything else? Yeah, I got one in Revelation. This is uh, Revelation 19. I started um, verse 13 going down to 16. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of the Most High. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. Verse 15. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword that with it that with it he should smite the nations. So that goes into God does love everybody because he's going to smite the nations. Mm -hmm. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. Mm -hmm. And he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness of the wrath of the almighty power. In verse 16. And he have on his vesture on, on I'm sorry. And he have on his vesture and on his thigh a name written king of kings and lord of lords. And that blood, the blood that's going to be on them, they showed that in uh, War of the Worlds with Tom Cruise. The apostle brought that out years ago. They showed a scene where it was just number blood coming up to the horse's bridle. All that stuff, man. It's really going to happen when the Lord comes back. Yeah. And these movie directors, they, they read the scriptures. They get a lot of their, their plots and, and inspiration. inspiration from the scriptures. And like the brother said, you know, Yahweh Shai is gonna get the final, the final glory. Mm -hmm. He's gonna, he's gonna be the one. It, it, it's his show. Yeah. yeah. This is Yahweh Shai's show. So he's gonna get the, he's gonna get the actual uh, uh, reward. You know, he's the, he's the hero. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Job twenty and four uh, yeah. goes into that. The triumph mm -hmm. of the wicked is but short. That's right. It's but yep. for a moment. That's right, brother. You, you know how um, doing like mm -hmm. a play. You know the, the um, director may come out at the end. You know everybody applaud them. Yeah. You know, bow down. That's, that's um. They all watch him. Y'all shot. That's right. Yeah. 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 That's right. Yep. Because it's his show at the end of the day, and he's the hero. He's the director. He's the the screenwriter, mm -hmm. and all that. You know. Yep. Yep. Um. But it says, what did it say? One more, one more time. Read the other side. Uh, Sixteen. Mm -hmm. And he have on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Mm -hmm. And that's Yahweh Shai. He's the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And he's going to get that ultimate glory. Mm -hmm. And he's going to put these devils to shame. And that's going to show his glory. That's going to show his power. and his, his, That's going to magnify his, his uh, presence 
and his role in the earth. You that's, know? How, that's how Esau got his yeah. glory, by defeating us. Mm -hmm. God, you defeating awesome. the world. So with that, we're going to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Rukhakadash, Laha, Bakarya, to the elect Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.